So let's head down this way through this door. What is this? Oh, check that out. Check this out from the back side. Okay, so we're climbing these ladders to an upper level, about 100, 150 feet of ladders, something like that. You can see how Oh, they're in pretty good condition, and they're notched. So we just climbed up these 100 feet of ladders and run another level. But next to the ladder system, you see this big slide right here, this big chute that parallels it. This was used to haul up the miners' tools, like their drills and other bulky, heavy equipment. And you can see the cable here goes back to a winch. And they would crank that um, to haul up their really heavy tools. Those drills are, you know, 80 pounds, something like that. So that's how they got the tools uh, up here. And uh, they would climb up the ladder. More miners' graffiti, some animals, it looks like. That's a burrow there, my light is. I think that's 1911, I think that's what that says there. But we're gonna climb some more ladders down here, an even longer section. I think Justin said a couple hundred feet, if not more. And they're a little more vertical, he said. Those back there were kind of on an incline. So we're going this way. So next to this ore chute is a, a peg board. These are kind of rare. This one still has a peg in it. That's how they kept track of the loads of ore coming out the chute instead of using miners dots. So more miners graffiti here. More drawings of the burrows or donkeys that probably worked in the mines along with the miners. And here's some real heavy timbering uh, here. Pretty massive timbers. There's an ore chute right here. This stacked rock you see on the side here, they call that gobbing for those of you who don't know. It was easier to stack the waste rock than take it all the way out of the mine because we're pretty far in and Oh my gosh, look at all this miner's graffiti on this wall here. A lot of people worked here. Another raise with some ladders, but that's kind of collapsed next to an ore chute here. Look at all that sparkly stuff in the gray there. Almost looks like Galena. Uh, here's an ore cart without wheels. That's too bad. I think this, this left tunnel just comes out down here to the right tunnel. Oh, look at this graffiti. More miners graffiti. Looks like a self-portrait. That they blocked off access. That probably went up into a stove. We were just down there. There's the ore cart. Right there where my light is, but Right here's an example of a false floor. This goes over a, uh, that's a really big drop. 
on an incline into a stope. That is massive. That, who knows how far down that goes. But you gotta watch out for those false floors. And uh, we'll keep going around here to the right. Another wall of gobbing, blocking off something. Another huge ore chute coming down. Okay, getting kind of tight here. Check out all this really heavy timbering. A little bit of gobbing right there. This one's uh, kind of starting to break. They must have timbered this heavily here because this was probably prone to collapse. Yeah, these are, uh, that timber there has uh, been, it's on an angle. They had to cut out a notch right there so the ore cart could pass when this all shifted to the left. And I think Justin was telling me there was a big earthquake uh, in this area many decades ago. And uh, they think this shifting of the timbers was caused by that earthquake. But the mine refused to close and they just kept on mining despite all this, uh, these timbers that shifted. Um, wow, this is amazing. Look at that there, Lincoln Log style. And uh, here's a ladder on the right. Let's see if you can see up here. This is really tight quarters. Well, that goes somewhere. Yep. And then in front here is a drop off. We can't go any further. That is a winds and you know, there may have been more workings past here. Yeah, I think there are. I can see back there. But uh, that earthquake probably uh, sealed off that passage. Look at that timber there where my light is snapped. That's almost a 90 degree angle, I think, that break. But let's see what's down here. This winds. You don't want to fall down here, that's for sure. Uh, it's hard to see where that goes, but all those timbers back there where my light is, it's just a mess of broken timber. So that earthquake did a number on this uh, this part of the mine. So here's a shot looking down this timbered tunnel we just came through. Got to go back this way to get back to the ladder system. But uh, those timbers there on the right are at least a foot in diameter, if not more. And uh, a lot of support was needed here, especially after that earthquake. But uh, we've got to go back that way to get to the ladders and get to some upper levels. Okay, we're climbing this ladder system. You see Justin, he just disappeared up there. Uh, you, can see, you can see the ladder here. I've come up, get a shot looking back if I can. It's hard to see, but the bottom's right down there. I'm up about 80 feet, something like that, but a couple hundred feet to go. Here come Todd and Joe. Up the ladder. Okay. So from the top of the ladder, we're headed down this way. Check out all that timbering. Okay, 
Okay, got to squeeze through here. Let me get past this. Okay, just made it through there and continuing down the drift. Okay, getting a lot of rubble here in the tunnel. Uh, passageway going that way. That was probably exploratory in nature. More miners dots. How many loads of ore came out of this chute? That's what those represent. That's how they did it. There's a carbide can that would hold the carbide that the miners used in their lights. A lot of miners graffiti through here. It's pretty amazing. Look at all these pictures. All done with carbide lanterns. That says, I think it says Maggie up there. Picture of a woman. Almost like an art gallery coming through here. There's another woman. There's a horse. There's a miner, another miner, another woman. So here in the tunnel is a jack using, uh, being used for support up there. Never really seen one of those before, I don't think. But it's doing its job. Looks like the tunnel's bending here to the left. Here's looking back at what we came through. This just keeps going and going and going. So the tunnel continues that way to the left, but check this out right here in front of me. This blue slippery stuff. This is uh, copper leaching out of the uh, out of the mine, and uh, it looks pretty cool. And we just came from that way. More miners graffiti and uh, more of this copper that's leaching out in this wet part of the mine. It's pretty cool. We don't see that very often. Hmm. Let's see what's up here to the right. Well, tracks stop there, so we got to go up. 
up into the stove, I guess. Approaching a timbered section, a short timbered section. Oh, well, we just came from that way and we're gonna climb this ladder system. You see right here in front of me going up here. It's heavy. Let me zoom in on that. It's just mixed in with the copper. I mean, a black and the blue makes purple, I guess. I don't know. That's pretty spectacular.